this is the easiest the simplest circle butterfly top you must have ever made let's dive straight into the tutorial video so i'm going to fold my fabric into four I fold that into four. This is one, two, three, four. And here is one, two. And here is on fold. Ten. So here is my shoulder line. And my shoulder is 16. So it's eight inches here. And I'm going to mark the neck to be before. And down here, I would make it three as well. So it's going to be like this and from here so i'm going to add my sleeve length to how you want it so i'm going to make it long i'm going to make it to 13. so it all depends and i would say my my full length is 25 with sewing m allowance is 26 that i would make it so i'll just take it round And to this place the sleeve side is shorter but you can decide to make everything 26 together I decide to make this 21 so that my shoulder side can be shorter so I'll take 21 and then by the time I got to the center here so this is where I want my 21 to stop and I will connect so from here I'll start to reduce it till I get to this 21 here then here I'm just going to cut it So around here, I would make sure to make a notch so I would know my shoulder side. Make my neck interfacing so I get the piece of the same fabric and I fold it into four. I'll place it as under this. And I'll trace it out. Making it three and a half inches. And I'm going to mark this all round, three and a half. And as this is like this, when I open it, it's going to be like the top. The next thing is to open it to the front part so I know here is my shoulder, here is my shoulder. Now I'm going to sew around the neck. After sewing around the neck, I did my zigzag stitching at the edge of the interface. So you have to like cut it up to reduce the friction so that when you turn it out it's going to relax properly around the neck now after doing that i'm going to turn it to the back Make sure that it is well aligned and I'm going to sew. So after sewing it, 
I now fold it on my shoulders. So when I see that I have made sure that everywhere is well aligned. So I know here is the center where the iron I iron during my iron made the mark easier for me. So this is the center. So my bust is 42. 42 I am dividing by 4 because here is dividing the front for me and is the same with the back. So 42 by 4. First of all, you place on the shoulder from my shoulder to 9. So this is my armhole. And from my armhole down here is my full length so here is where my bust lies and it's 10.5 here so i'm going to sew here and the same thing goes here one two nine and to this place this is the easiest way to mark this is 10.5 to my waist i want it snatched is 9.5 how do i know my waist from here to nine and to 15 is my waist then I take it in and I loosen it like this so here I take it in making sure here is my 9.5 for the waist to 15 and 9.5 and I take it out I'm going to sew here, leaving two inches open, and I'll do that here too. So I'm going to sew from here, leaving two inches open here. After sewing, the sides is now well stitched. So the next thing is to hem the bottom, the whole round. So to hem from that end all round, and you can fold it in like this and sew. So I'm going to fold it all round. And I would sew all round. So guys, this is the fitting. Make sure to iron the hems after sewing as this is going to make the top more relaxed as well. And this is your circle butterfly top. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here and you can check on how I made other tops by clicking in the next video here.